Give us a spin. Something called tori sashi or chicken sashimi. Okay, what do I start with? Last time you saw me, I wasn't this drunk. Oh, we ordered one. Oh. What are we doing? Going to a sand onsen. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm kind of sleepy. Take a nap. So today we are gonna go and explore the sand onsens of Ibusuki. So look, we're here, beach is over here, but the greater view, this is where we are on this like peninsula in Kagoshima. Let's go uh, see what a sand onsen is all about. I'm excited. It'll be my first onsen. <laughs> Ibusuki is apparently nicknamed the Hawaii of Japan. But I've also heard that nickname given to Okinawa, so it being like winter right now, it seems a little dead here. The bench here, and you can just enjoy the hot spring. Also, peep my new glasses. What do you think? Ooh, it's really nice. It's like a nice little jacuzzi for free. I think we're in the right place. So you wear this robe. And you wear the robe because the robe is supposed to help conduct the heat from the hot spring and from the sand to remove the impurities. I hope we're allowed to film. There's a sign that says no filming there because you guys can see down there, that's where all, that's where they bury you. Let's go uh, try. So hopefully next time you see us, we'll be in robes. Okay, we're not allowed to film in the sand, so we're leaving you here, but. Give us a spin. The sand onsen was really fun. We were super bummed that we weren't able to film it. Basically you lay down and then they start shoveling a bunch of the hot sand on you all the way up to your neck. If you have a JR pass, you can take the train from Kagoshima to Ibusuki and it's completely covered. It took us about an hour and some change. It stopped a lot and it was really slow and really like wobbly. Once you get to Ibusuki, you can walk. It's about 20 minutes to walk to the onsen. Well, that happened pretty fast. I missed the onsen. I know, same. It was so warm. So comfy, cozy. But now, to try that delicacy. One that no doubt will be absolutely repulsive to most people. It's almost died on ice. <laughs> Guys, check out the Ferris wheel. It's all lit up now. I love traveling in winter. It just feels so like magical, you know? I prefer spring, but it's nice for a change. We've tried the sand onsens, and now there's two things left to try. One is sweet potatoes. And the sweet potatoes here are apparently used to make a very specific type of shochu, which is like a liquor made from sweet potatoes. And the last one, something called tori sashi, or chicken sashimi. Yes, the chicken is raw. And yes, Haley is gonna try it. If I get salmonella, it's on you. That is a risk I am willing to take. Hello, hello. What's in here? Wait, should we check it out? What? Do you want to check it out? No. Oh. Do you? No. <laughs> My leg is in exciting mode. Behind this door is where we're going to eat raw chicken. Oh, I'm really not the most adventurous eater and I'm not getting sold on raw chicken sashimi. I'm a little nervous, guys. I'm a very adventurous eater and I'm nervous about it. Let's go. Oh, I wish you would have said that. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> oh my God, we like hyped that up so much too, but they said it was only for if you had a reservation tonight. All the seats at the bar were open though, but still sad. All right, we'll find another place. 
What? We'll find another one. Oh. Sit tight. All right, we found one on Google. We're gonna try it. Hopefully, hopefully it works. You're hopeful it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. I thought we got out of it the first time. Nope. <laughs> Fingers crossed we get out of it again. If we don't get it in this time, I'll try again. Honestly, it looks close to me. I don't think we should drift going. Round two, let's try. We literally walked in and she said they're full. As we're walking out, she's like saying, so sorry, so sorry. And then she asked people at the end of the bar to move to a table to accommodate us. I love the Japanese people for being so sweet, but in this moment, I really wish we didn't get the table. I'm so excited. We're doing it. We're doing the raw chicken. We're really confused. Everyone in here is laughing at us because we have no idea what we're doing. But like the alcohol self-serve. So like you just grab a cup and you just tell her every time you're gonna drink. She got two beers. Cheers. I asked her if she has the chicken. She got the chicken. Okay, what do I start with? I don't know. It looks like it's different cuts, so we have to try different things. Oh, uh, okay. No, what to go with first because there's so many. Okay, I'm just gonna dip. Dip. Dip, dip, dip. No. Okay, they got it too. <laughs> I hope start crying. I, it's just the texture for me. The taste, it doesn't taste like anything crazy, but I'm such a texture person. Video. <laughs> it's cramped in here, so here we go. I'm just gonna go for the light, light piece. Take a mask. Really chewy. It doesn't. I never thought that's what raw chicken would taste like. It just has no flavor. It has like a little flavor, but I thought it would be for how much talk there is of like how forbidden it is to eat raw chicken or undercooked chicken. I don't know. I, I, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna try the darker meat piece now. The dark meat, I think, is way better, and I like dark meat better than cooked chicken, so I think it's good. I would eat it again. I wouldn't. I probably won't be eating much tonight. But we tried it, so I'm proud of you. Thank you. Last time you saw me, I wasn't this drunk. Oh, we ordered one. Oh, we got <laughs> New bestie. Yeah. My husband. Oh, yes. Besties. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> you like something? This is something I can eat. Holy shit. Wow. Son, three, two, one. We tried raw chicken sashimi. We tried sweet potato soshu. We tried everything. 10 out of 10 experience. She made room for us. We made friends with the locals. I mean, you can't even ask her anything better. We made semi best friends for life. Like it was such a, I don't even know what to say. 